Hello, hello, my beloved waking gods and goddesses. Welcome to Love, Truth, and Beauty. Do it yourself, spiritual awakening for divine in the flesh, where together we learn how to surf, hack, and navigate the ups and downs of the totality of human experience, creating a new earth beyond the limitations of this perception managed reality matrix of five senses, having discovered our true divine creative natures and our true central sensorial universe of seven senses, creating formless into form outside of the matrix in the true quantum field creation field universe. Now, before we get started, please do give this video a thumbs up. Please also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell selecting the all setting so that the YouTube will let you know when I upload a new video. I generally upload Tuesdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Eastern. My name is Mario West, and I am your hostess of the highest, here to download, upload, inspire, and usher you into your best and brightest selves, your best and brightest light, and inviting you all to open your hearts wider and wider and wider still. Hello, my love bugs, my honey buddies, my boobles, Welcome to Love, Truth, and Beauty, episode 297. That's right. I'm not on camera. I'm not feeling it. I am not feeling it. And therefore, I'm actually recording this on the Zoom uh, with this lovely background of our planet. And uh, today's video is a follow-up on our last video, introducing, reviewing the first hermetic natural law principle of mentalism, free your mind, change your thought quality, create your layer of the universe. I've received several requests to expound a bit on what the actual fuck steps to do in this stage of initiation, the inflammatory stage, as I call it, where your reality is turned upside down when you start to awaken and up level. That is, once you start this pathway of awakening that is owning your attention and managing your attention, guess what? You also get to manage the up-leveling of your thoughts and your beliefs, raising your vibration through the up-leveling of your emotional countenance, or at the very least, not identifying with your feelings and your reactivity and getting clear, are you responding or reacting? Also, you need to get clear on your actions along with the thoughts, beliefs, feelings, emotions, and habits you need to delete. Yes, my friends, it can be a tormenting, personalized, existential shit show. So also by give, going back to my conversation with Mark Passio, where, where we review the top five steps you need to be vigilant of and engage for real in order to do the great work and the shadow work portion, especially during this these initiatory stages of unpacking all of your mind control and PTSDs, your pains, traumas, suffering, and dramas, or remaining a tool and posure for the powers that want to be in the matrix, rendering you, rendering you still an enslaved person. Okay, shall we review? Let's do it. Okay, number one, you have to be brutally honest with yourself, my friends, and you have to tell the truth. You got to start where you are, no better, no worse, okay? Now, too many of you lie to yourselves and bullshit yourselves into further slavery and unconscious, codependent, dysfunctional behavior because you're liars, straight up, or you omit certain things that you need to uh, be aware of within yourself, and you pretend you're doing the great work. You pretend you're doing shadow work. Perhaps because the current drama trauma cycle is winding down. Now, I've worked with so many people who've paid me a shit ton of cash to so that they can work with me only for them to utterly fail because guess what? They refuse to do their homework, which I give, by the way. And then they pretend it's all good only to reach out in yet another panic because shit has hit the proverbial fan again and things are repeating. Hmm, which leads us to number two. You have to check your toxic positivity, which goes hand in hand with what I just talked about, okay? About being radically honest with yourselves. Now, quite often, what happens with folks that I work with is that they receive the initial healing and the initial clearing, and suddenly, ooh, some of the burdens have been lifted. They feel great, and then they don't follow through on homework 
or their prepaid sessions because they feel like they've come to the end of their great work and boom, their egos, that's right, all that new age bullshit at its best fools you into thinking that you are done, that you got this. Okay, don't kid yourselves. The shadow work portion of the great work is excruciatingly painful and your dark side, your ego, your negative ego will trick you into toxic positivity telling you, wow, I feel great. Wow, this isn't so hard. This is easy. I can do this. I can do this on my own. I got this. Um, No, you don't. Okay. You cannot half ass this process of initiation, especially during this inflammatory period. You can be tricked, okay? The powers that want to be do not want you empowered. They want to blow sunshine up your ass thinking that you got all the stuff cleared when you don't, okay? And, you know, it's weird. Too many people will pay me all this money and then not show up for their appointments, not do their homework. And uh, only to come back saying, can we make this stuff up? Can we make up the time? Mm, okay, so think about that. All right, number three, you have to learn how to think correctly because there's a correct way of thinking and an incorrect way of thinking. And most humans have no clue how to think properly, how to think correctly. They have no clue. So at the very least, you must learn to think correctly and properly by working all the hermetic natural law principles to correct your thinking. I uh, shit you not, kids. And most folks will bypass this step altogether, yet claim they are hermetic natural law advocates. Um, right. Number four, you have to be in the present moment. Now, what the actual fuck does that mean? You have to own your attention. That's what it means to be present. The matrix cannot own your attention in the inner screen nor the outer screen, okay? You have to be aware of all three screens, okay? Your attention is your awakened state and it can only be accessed outside of the matrix. All right, number five, you have to take care of your body. You got to move it. You got to feed it. Proper, high-density, nutritionally loaded foods that nourish your body. You have to engage in regular tonification of your body and detoxification. You've got to exercise. You have to rest properly. You have to tend to your self-care. You have to stop drugging your body, okay, hitting it with all kinds of fake drugs, pharmaceuticals included. You have to stop drinking alcohol and putting yourself into some numbed out state. You have to stop your sugar and caffeine addictions, your addictions to fast food, all that shit. You have to stop having unconscious sex. You have to stop abusing your physical body. I'm not kidding you. Your body is the vehicle through which it is your physical temple, through which creative life force energy animates and expresses itself in your creative, through your creative intention so that you can move those creative intentions and move them from formless into form. You have to respect your body, kids, okay? This is what creates the awakened state of heart, mind, body, soul coordination in doing the great work, unraveling the shadow work. You have to respect yourselves, respect your body. Don't be sloppy. Don't be lazy. It's, it, respect your mind. Don't be sloppy. Don't be lazy. It's, respect your heart. Respect your soul. All right, my darlings, that is my speech. I hope this is helpful. Be kind to yourselves, decide what your layer of the universe is all about and see it as loving and friendly and has your back. See one another as divine in the flesh. Please help me grow my channel by giving this video a thumbs up and leaving a comment in the comments box below or pr private. 
in private. Please share this video with your communities, friends, family members, and on social media platforms you feel would benefit from this content. Please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell, selecting the all setting so that the YouTube will let you know when I upload next. And if you find value, enjoy, or benefit from my content and videos, or at least entertained by them, won't you please consider supporting my work through a donation? My PayPal link is below, as is my coffee.com link, where you can actually buy me the proverbial cup of coffee, so to speak. I thank you all for hanging out with me with your participation and focus attention. I really do appreciate it. I cannot do this without you, and I do this for those of you knowing that you are so much more what, than what the matrix endeavors to define you only to be. So until next time, my dear hearts, always act from love outside of the matrix from your center screen, composing a new reality, quantum jumping all your lifelines. That's right. Let's go higher and higher and higher and higher so that we can all be the love that we are. We can share our love, create, make art, make music, make love. And you can all help me repopulate the true quantum field, creation field universe. So until next time, here's to love, truth, and beauty. Mwah.